Greetings everyone and welcome to my 100% playthrough of the 10x10 project in Ultraviolence. This is map 3, Salvia. Alright, let's take a look at map 3's textures real quick. So it's similar to map 2, that it's hell or hell themed, but less visceral, like there's less blood and fewer like meaty textures. I mean you only have the spine and the blood fall. Instead, this map is more cavernous, so you can see these rocky textures. And most importantly, it has faces everywhere. So the gargoyle, the skulls, and whatever this is. So, let's go. As you can see, faces here, faces behind me, faces floating in the air. Whoa, careful. Alright, so there's a switch over here. Reviews the Wolfenstein guy for a mega armor, which I would like to have. So let's just grab it. Chain on the Revenant. There's a pain in the metal to my right. Hopefully he flies over here. Yeah. We can just deal with him with ease. The blood doesn't hurt, by the way, so don't be afraid. He's chaining on us, however, do hurt, so make sure to kill them. All right. I'm just going to focus on secrets right now. So there's another secret in this cave. There's a shootable switch right over there. For a Wolfenstein guy and a secret rocket launcher, which is pretty useful. And the final secret is over here. Also, I believe the super shotgun is here, so it's a win-win if you go here first. All right, so we got some zombies and the revenants. This is kind of the reason why I grabbed the rocket launcher, so I can miss half my rockets. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Very nice, this, you know. Awesome. Great shots. Well done. Also, there's an arshal here. But also the super shotgun so i just need to grab this first here's mr archie and try to zap me but he cannot and there we go also this midi is freaking awesome it's from the plutonia midi pack and it really fits the map it's pretty um difficult to use a midi that is kind of like bound to an already existing map and it's n the map is known for the midi but uh yeah it fits perfectly in this map as well all right so the final secret we have a very hidden switch over here reviews the supercharge and also wolfenstein guy the last one ah i was stuck and some revenants Alright, got all the secrets, now we can go kick some ass. Let's see. That Revenant is kind of annoying. I don't like sniping Revenants, so I think we'll kill this one first. Then I'll kill this Revenant. Or maybe the Chain Gunner, ah, doesn't matter. He's gonna infight the Imp, I think. Or not. No, down he goes. Also, also quite annoying. There's actually quite a lot of items in this room, so... The idiots, they do not know how to charge through items, no matter the height. So you can kind of uh, exploit that, I guess. Oh yeah, there's an archway here. I forgot. Wait, is he inviting? He is. Boom, okay. Rockets, rockets, there's a lost soul near me. Please, leave me alone. I'm firing rockets. Alright, just gonna clear this room real quick and then move on to the next area. This map actually has some tricky rooms. I would say this is the first. No, I wouldn't say difficulty spike, but it's definitely not as chill as the first two maps. Well, Relatively speaking, of course. Yeah, I think 
This is what stops messing around in map 3. Really stops messing around starting map 4. And yeah, maybe except map 31, the rest of the world just gets more difficult by the map. Or maybe it peaks around map 7. And then map 10 is also um, quite difficult. Everything else is, uh, yeah. It's a steady um, difficulty curve in this world. Alright, what's this? Oh yeah, the um, arch files. So, we have two barons. And we've got two arch files as well. The arch files are, as Mount Paint 27 says, they are in the gutter. They cannot actually come here, but they can snipe you. And yeah, you have to also deal with the barons, so you have to really multitask. You want to dodge the barons, also want to dodge the imps, of course. And you want to focus on the eye switches, because these will crush the archfiles, so... Yeah, just press the switches as quickly as you can. Alright, got the yellow skull key. What else can we get? This is the cyber room. Um, I think it... No, it's not. No. There's a cyber room, which I think is the most difficult room in the in the map. And I'm thinking to myself, can I actually go to that room early on? I haven't actually learned the layout of the map, I'm just kind of improvising. But I guess that it's more natural that way. Like, over-practicing also makes the video not as fun, I, I guess. I like the double-layered, like, spirit, spirits face? Faces? SP face? I'm not sure what SP stands for. I always thought spirits, but there's many textures with the SP prefix, so... Those of like, SP dude. Sandy Peterson? Maybe? There's gotta be some logic behind the... What's your name? I, I don't know. Um, so, let me see. I need... I cannot open a door. Now I have to go through the blue door now. I think that's where the cyber is. Also, there's some... Uh, that gun has already killed them. Never mind. Yeah, blue door is here. And I think this is where the cyber... Yeah, okay. So we cannot do the cyber early. You have to get the blue key first. Um... I actually do not need that Negus here. I will save it just in case. But there's a nasty side demon here. Oh, I forgot to Well, I didn't mention the different sprite for the cyber because we haven't seen the cyber yet. But, um. Yeah. The cyber looks a bit different. He's gonna dominate you. Alright, so what do I do here? Um, well, I shoot the cyber. He's gonna hit all the enemies here. And they're gonna infight, except the cyber, because he's angry at me. But I just need to hold on for a bit. And just run away from the cyber. Eventually he's gonna infight. And yeah, I'll be fine. I'll kill this Baron. If I can. But yeah, this is the most... Uh, is it the most difficult room? I'm not sure, but the Cyber can be really unpredictable and just fire rockets out of nowhere. Okay, so I have a Plasma, which I will use to kill the Cyber. Not sure if this is the best spot. Oh, he hit the Revenants. Nice. And... Yeah, I'm not sure. How to really kill this cyber. You can also use the SSG, I guess. It's kind of cramped, so... You know, it doesn't really matter if I take splash damage here, so I think I'll stay here. Oh, he's dead. That was quick. Alright. And there's the yellow key card, Which we can use to pretty much start the final fight, I think. Can you please die? And I'll grab this. Alright. 
Um, yeah, so the final fight is in this big room. Because, you know, yellow keycard to open this door. So it's going to reveal some chain gunners behind you. I'll just blow them up. And... Nice spare Megasphere. It's gonna be another Cyberdemon here, by the way. So maybe this is the most difficult fight in the in the in the map. But it's not that bad. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Archfall. Let's kill you first. Then let's make some space by killing the Imps. And this is a very bad spot. Let's get out of here. Where's the Cyber? I hear him firing rockets. I hope he's gonna infight. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, here you are. Can you, like, infight with the Hell Knights or something? Can you be useful? Oh, no. A bad spot once again. Okay, yeah, go infight. I'll press this switch in the meantime. Grab some ammo. You're not infighting, are you? No. Lots of Hell Knights here. Actually, I think you're kind of safe from the Cyber here. As long as it doesn't, like, walk away from you and then fire rockets, it's gonna keep firing rockets into the wall, so... Really? Can you just stay here? I mean, the plasma's gonna push him away, so I think eventually... Actually, no, there's lots of space for the player to just back away. Okay, that's kind of cheesable, I guess. I mean, it's map 3, it's not supposed to be like a combat puzzle with only one solution. Actually, no map should ever do that. It should always be many possible solutions for the combat uh, you're uh, facing. But yeah, I uh, did pretty well, I think. So with the red key card, you can escape. But I think I'm gonna look at the aesthetics a bit more. There's, there's just a lot of time spent on every single little detail. For example, that floating weird... I don't even know what that shape is. It's like a uh, wavy. Look at that. And the sky, I think this is the only place where you can really see the sky. It's the Bloodfall. Very cool. All these faces just looking at you. Watching your every move. Judging you. Ah, look at this nerd. Didn't even two-shot BFG the Cyber. Pfft. Noob. Yes, I know there's no BFG in the map, but you catch my drift. I think there was a, a room with these gargoyle textures also scrolling. It looked very um, unusual. Let's have a look. Where were they? Where, where, where were they? Not here. Not here. I swear they were like scrolling gargoyle faces. Oh, here. Yeah, that's groovy. But yeah, very cool stuff. There's Kevin Cloud's uh, wound on his knee. And two weird beady eyes. Actually, no, I don't think they're eyes. I think it's the... Oh, wow. Big revelation. I always thought those things in the corners, like the black reddish things were like beady eyes looking at you but now that i look at it again i think it's actually a nail in the in the um uncovered skin two nails and it's bleeding a bit wow mind blown i always thought there were eyes like looking at you but it doesn't really make sense but then again it does add to like doom's hell atmosphere or maybe? I don't know. Nah, I don't think they're eyes, because the... The eye on the right side isn't as spherical. Oh, 
know, whatever. I'll just keep leaving their eyes, and it adds to the theme of the map that everything is watching you, so. Alright, um. Yeah, let's leave. I think that's enough, uh. Moments of appreciation. There's just a lot of, a lot of stuff to look at. I, th I suggest you just load up the wad yourself and just look around because look at this. Okay, so that is map three. Like I said, this is where the 10x10 10 10 project actually gets quite tricky. Two cyber demons and pretty cramped I gotta say, so it's very easy to take a lot of blast damage. And yeah, once again, combat is interesting. There's many different enemy types roaming freely, and usually, like, closets review, or one closet reveals a lot of revenants, and then the other closet reveals a lot of hell knights, all from um, different um, locations in the room. So, one room has more revenants, or I mean, one side of the room has more revenants, and the other side has more hell knights, and of course, eventually, it all blends together, but in like the first 10 seconds of the of the fight you really have to know okay this side has revenants so i probably have a lot more trouble maneuvering around them whereas the the hell knights are like they have bigger bounding boxes so is that a good idea trying to get past them so you really have to think what should i do first well revenants die quicker so maybe i can kill them first oh but oh wait it's also closet with imps well i better kill the imps first because well Eight imps roaming freely, they can block you, and then there's a cyber demon roaming freely, so you're gonna catch rockets if you don't kill the imps. So there's a lot of, um, actually, a bit of strategy going on, which uh, I, uh, yeah, I think is really cool. But yeah, the visuals are mostly the highlights of this map. And yeah, combat is uh, tricky, but it is not that bad compared to, yeah, I've mentioned map 7 a lot of times. Map 7 really is a highlight of the of the what honestly but uh yeah we'll um we'll get there when we get there so that is map three thanks for watching have an awesome day and yeah i'll see you very soon in the next video